Okay, this is probably my best known image of the many branded images that have become associated with me. Uh, I first painted the Queen back in 1972 when then Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau had uh, referred to her as the Queen of Canada. To the rest of the world, she was the Queen of England and the Commonwealth. The Queen of Canada became a kind of commonly used term at the time. And I had this epiphany, this was long before Photoshop and the internet, and I took an old school projector and I projected her image of her trooping in color on a horse and I replaced it with the moose. It caused a scandal at the time. It was um, uh, hated by the local art critics, but it, when I opened the show in 1973, the Queen was in Niagara on the lake opening the Shaw Festival Theater. I called my, I lived on Shaw Street, so I called my show The Other Shaw Festival. And I had a very good friend who had a Rolls Royce and his wife sat in the back with a hat and a glove going like this all afternoon. The crowds went wild. It made headlines around the world. Rio de Janeiro, Buenos Aires, Paris, Los Angeles, Canada in royal rage over Queen on Moose, monarchists threatened to slash canvases, artists warned to stay indoors. The whole thing was ridiculously hyped. But at 30, I became like an, an Andy Warhol. And the mischief and the affection in it uh, was not really appreciated at the time when the monarchy was revered. It isn't anymore. They're flawed human beings like the rest of us, and we all know this now. Having said that, I've made well over a million dollars from the image. Uh, my, the greatest uh, incident that happened is the original painting was in the show in 1973 and it didn't sell. In 1979 I met a brilliant woman named Lorraine Monk who started the Canadian Museum of Photography in Ottawa. She came to see me in Toronto. She took one look at the painting. She said, how much do you want for it? I said, I don't know, 2500 She said, well, I'm not giving you that for it. I said, well, what are you giving me? She said, I'm giving you 10000 it's the most important piece of post-colonial pop art to have ever been created in this country. That was the rain. She died last year at age 95, and her kids are fighting over We don't know what's going to happen. If Canada were more, what's the word? If there was more wisdom on the part of the official museums, it long ago should have gone to Ottawa or to the AGO. And guess what? It will in 15 or 20 years. When I'm gone and the Queen's gone, it will be a piece of history. But there it is. And this is one of the uh, pieces from that period, 1972.